Welcome back, y'all. I'm here with one of the most renowned vintners in the world. He's the author of a book called Reflections of a Vintner, Stories and Seasonal Wisdom from a Lifetime in Napa Valley. A lifetime in Napa Valley, it sounds like a good life. Today he is sharing some of that wine wisdom with us and I am ready to learn people. Please welcome from Tour Wines in Napa Valley, Tour Kenward, everybody. Okay. Um, okay, well, do you believe, I love this, you believe in breaking like the, I don't know, the wine rules, right? Yes. I love breaking rules, so let's dive in. Well, you know, I, I've been doing this, uh, what is it, 50 years now. Yeah. And, you know, the more that you spend in this business, you realize these rules are not really good rules. They are rules to be broken. And we can do some right here. Let's do it. All right. Slash drink. So I, yes. So I think we need to have a sip of red wine. Fine. What do you think? All Fine. Right. Are we doing this one right here, right? Does yes. It matter I think, okay. I think they're both the same. Okay. Though. So look, cheers. I knew what to do. Yeah. I've been to a tasting. Yeah. We can do that. Mm-hmm. I have a really great job, man. This is uh, my wine tour, Napa Valley Cabernet. And it's the, uh, it's the preview of the 22, 2022 vintage. That's really good. Yes. Um, okay, so that's, do you, would you pair it with this? Is that what we're doing? Well, here's uh, oh, what fine. every steakhouse has a secret mm -hmm. that some of them tell you and some of you know instinctively. One is try a bite of a steak with your, with okay. your, with your wine. I, I think I'll do the same too. Do I have one here? Yeah. It's been sitting here a minute, beware. All right. Mm -hmm. It's still moving. Mm -hmm. mm. Now try your, Try your red wine. We're gonna to have to do this a few times. I'm gonna need a minute to chew. Mm. Mm. Does that work? Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> that's so good. So that's a good wine and food combination. Duh, red wine, red meat, right? Fine. Okay. Well, the truth of the matter is with, now try this. And, and instead of doing all of these, I think we're just gonna go to the end right here, but put a little bit of salt on a finger. Okay. It, take, put it a little bit in your mouth. Oh, I got way too much for that. Okay. All right, just a little bit okay. like that. Now take a sip of the red wine again. I love, it's like a game. Oh yeah. Tell me what you think happens. I don't even know what chemically happens, but it's smoother almost. Bingo. Yeah. We didn't prepare this, did we? No. Yeah. This is the steakhouses. What do they add? Salt and, <laughs> and one other ingredient, which is, come on, butter, butter. So what we're gonna do, you had that steak without anything on it. Yeah. Try a bite that all the way, we'll go all the way over here. Okay with salt and butter on it and try the same red wine. No, no one's okay. watching, we can I use our look, hands. I am yeah. texting, I'm a little class, a little trash, it's okay. There we go. Oh, that was so good. Which, one of these? Yeah. Okay. I really do love my job. Yes. <laughs> I love mine too. Mm. Bingo. This is so good. See, so you just dab a little salt with right. the butter, this is the one with butter? Yep, if you want, you have a young red wine like this, mm -hmm. let's say it's a Cabernet, which is usually a big wine, and you wanna soften the wine, just a little bit of salt, you don't need to over salt it, that, that's, no one wants to do that. Yeah. And a little bit of butter, and that whole wine starts becoming rounder, softer. Chemistry. Yeah. And yeah. So here, here's, here's another one. Let's say you don't like white wine. I've heard that and you want to have seafood. Every seafood dish that I've ever had in my life, if you add a little bit more salt, and if it, it can take the butter, you can have red wine with it. Okay. Break what, the rules. Let's, well, let's break the rules and try this right, I mean, just to, just to try it out. Yeah. There but you go, I'm yeah, gonna, let's look, try I'm the gonna, white wine I wouldn't go that. for the salt for you, I put my whole finger in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. breaking mine up a little mm -hmm. bit too. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Okay, okay. Now, I know you like white wine, too. I like all wine. Yeah. You're I like to be inclusive. Sympatico. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like Jesus' water. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I, I think I have a new black label copy. I'm just saying, it's like if Cinderella glass slipper, if it had a taste. It's not, it's, you're, it's so good, guys. <laughs> you're all like, I hate this show. <laughs> just watching us have a good time from afar. This is so good, what's this one? Is that here? That is a Chardonnay, yeah. That's really and, good. And again, it's the world premiere of our Chardonnay, uh, the 22 vintage right Hey, there. 50 years was worth it, buddy. You make a really amazing wine well, that my you. band is going to rush this like stage well, and have. Yeah, we do have some open bottles. Okay, band. okay. All right, uh, well, we don't want it. Waste not, want not. That's what I say. All right, so here we go, everybody. Thank you so much. Y'all got to check these wines out. They're incredible. Um, be sure to also check out Tor's book, Reflections of a Vintner, Stories and Seasonal Wisdom from a Lifetime in Napa Valley. The Lifetime worked out, brother man. This is really good.